Shalom, brothers and sisters. I hope you all doing well. Let's continue with the reading of the book of Joshua. But before I continue with the lesson, I would like to give all glory and honor to the God of Israel and his beloved son Christ the Messiah. Now, chapter 12. In this chapter, they have lived all those kingdoms that uh, Moses and Israel, Aaron, have conquered. Okay? Now, before, before you know, make, make sure that you have your Bible so that you can read along. Because all those kingdoms, the names of the kingdoms and the kings, for me, they're also difficult, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, to read and to pronounce. So it is always wise, you know, to have your Bible with you when you study with me. Okay, it is always a wise thing so that you can read and you can read for yourself. Okay. Because most of the time I butcher those names, okay? <laughs> so, uh, first, uh, chapter 11, first um, 1. Now, these are the kings of the land which, which the children of Israel smote and possessed their land on the other side, Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and, on, and all the plain, and, and all the plain on the oath, and on the east, so uh, these days they have maps of uh, about all these uh, all these uh, cities, okay? About it, about all these biblical cities. So it is always, uh, uh, you know, it, it is always, um, it, it is always, um, where you know, if when you when you see these lands on the map, it gives you a better picture of 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 this of this land, okay? It gives you a better picture. So. Uh, you can go uh, on Google and just Google about all this uh, map of uh, those baby codes. Um, you can Google about uh, about all these maps, okay? About all these kingdoms. So they will give you. They will show you a map of. They will show you a map of all these kingdoms, okay? It always gives you a better picture of them, okay? I hope I explained that well. Um, first two, Sihon or Sihon. King of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon and ruled from Aroer, Aroer, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle, middle of the river, and from Hel Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Shinoret, on the east, and unto the sea of the plain. Even the South Sea on the east, the way to Bet She Bet Bet Jes Mi Bet Jes Okay, Bet Jesimot, and from the south on the Ash dot Pishka, and the old and the coast of Og King King of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ash Tarot and at at Ra Rei, and rain and rain in Mount Hermon, and in Selka, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites and Mekatites and and Half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses the servant of the Lord and the children of Israel smite, and Moses the servant of the Lord give it for a possession unto the Rubenites and the Gerites and half tribe of Manasseh. That's why, uh, you know, before they crossed the Jordan River, uh, um, they came in agreement with Joshua that they will cross the Jordan River, you know, to help their brothers, you know, to, uh, to, to conquer those other lands. And after they have done that, they will go back on the other side of the Jordan, okay? And, and live in their own land, okay? Verse seven, and these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on the side Jordan on the west, from Baal God in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak, that go up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions, in the mountains and in the valleys and in the plains and in the springs and in the wilderness and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hephites, and the Jebusites, the king of Jericho one, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel one, the king of Jerusalem one, one, the king of Hebron one, 
the king of Jarmuth won, the king of Lachish won, the king of Eglon won, the king of Gezer won, the king of Debir won, the king of Gedor Gezer won, the king of Harme, Harme won, the king of Ered won, the king of Libna won, the king of Abdullam won, the king of Makeda won, the king of Bethel won, the king of Tapua won, the king of Hif 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 Hifner Hefner Hef Hefer won, the king of Apec won, the king of Lasharon won, the king of Medon won, the king of Hazor won, the king of Shimron Miron won, the king of Akshab Akshab won, the king of Tainak won, the king of Megiddo won, the king of Kadesh won, the king of Job Naim of Carmel won, the king of Dor in the coast of Dor won, the king of the king of the nation of Gilgal won, the king of Tirzar, Tirzar won, all these kings thirty won, thirty, thirty and one. So all these kings Joshua and the children of Israel have smote and destroyed, and we know it is the most high we have delivered them, all of these kings into their hands. Okay, so that was the that was chapter 12 and let's go to chapter 13 okay and and in chapter 13 we, we're going to talk about lands that still to conquer that we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about land that's still to be conquered okay okay first one now joshua was old and stricken in years and the lord said unto him thou art old and stricken in years and there remained yet very much land to be possessed. So the, the the land of Israel is a very large it's a very large land, okay? And the thing is when Christ comes, that land is going to be bigger and larger than it was back then. Because you know when you go and read this Bible, you will study the Bible, you know, especially those book of uh, the kings and, and you know, go for, and not uh, so the, those book after the book of Joshua, you will see that the Israelite they didn't conquer all those land and even in those time of david those days of david they, they still didn't they still didn't conquer all those land that which they supposed to do which they supposed to conquer so when christ come the land of the israelite going to be larger and and bigger than it was back then okay <clears throat> so um this is the land that yet remained all the borders of the of the philistines and and all Geshuri. So these those land that I'm going to read are those that remain to conquer, okay? From Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the border of Ekron, northward, which is counted to be the to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistine, the Kesa, the Kesatites, and the Ashdotites, and the es Eskalonites, the Gitites, and the Akronites. Also the Avites, from the south, all the land of the Canaanites and and, Me, and Meara, that is besides the Sidonians, unto Apex, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites and all Lebanon, toward the sun rising, from Bel Gad, on the Mount on the Mount Hermon, unto the entering in the into Hamad. All, all the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Meshrapot, Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the children, unto the, unto the Israelites for an inheritance as I have commanded thee. So even, so, um, wait a minute. Divide the land for an inheritance. So even, so even they didn't inherit those lands yet, even they didn't conquer them yet, but still the Most High, he, 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 he is telling him that when you're going to, you know, divide the land, you have to include this land because the Most High is going to give this land to the children of Israel. So it doesn't matter if they didn't conquer them yet, but still he have to include 
this land may you go in, when he going to divide the land to the children of Israel. Okay? Now, verse 7. Now, therefore, divide this, divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Rebanites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. Just like we have read in, in Joshua chapter um, chapter 12, okay, that those, uh, those uh, the, the land, that uh, half tribe of Manasseh, the Rubenites and Gerites, they have inherited the land, you know, um, the land uh, at the, um, uh, they, have, they have possessed the land on the other side of the Jordan, okay. Uh, and now all these lands belong to the, just like it says, nine, tri nine tribe and the half tribe of the Manasseh. Okay. With whom the Reubenites and the Gerites have received their inheritance which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. From Aror that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Me Medeba, Unto Dibon and all the cities of Sihon, Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of Geshurites Gish and Makatites, and all the Mount Hermon, and all the and all Basham unto Shalka, all the kingdom of Og in Basham, which reigned in Ashtaroth, and in at Rai, who remain of the remnant of the giants, for these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Jerusites, the Gerusites, nor the Marketites, but the Gerusites and the Marketites were among the children, among the, the Israelites until this day, until this day. Okay, until this day, um, only unto the tribe of Levi he gave not inheritance, the sacrifice of the Lord, on, only unto the tribe of Levi he gave not inheritance, the sacrifice of the Lord God of Israel made by fire or their inheritance, as he said unto them. Let's go to the book of Numbers chapter 18 verse 20 through 20, um, um, 23, okay? And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part in thine, in thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the ten in Israel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve even the service of the tabernacle of the congregations. Neither must the children of Israel, Israel henceforth come nigh the, tab the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall do, shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation, that among the children of Israel they have no inheritance. Okay? Now, but this is this is this was back then. This was under uh, the uh, under the the order of um, Aaron. Okay, but in the future, the Levite are going to have that in. Oh, they will go. In, they will go in. They will inherit their land. Okay, because the reason why the Levite uh, didn't inherit land because the Most High chose them become a priest to them. Okay. Under the order of Aaron, Israel was a kingdom with priests, and because there was a kingdom with priests, the Most High chose the tribe of Levi, you know, to you know to um to serve him, to serve him. Okay, only the tribe of Levi, the Most High chose to serve him. So all those riches go, was going to him because that's why the Most High said, uh, you know, they they are his inheritance. Everything that belongs to the Most High was theirs. So uh, there was a no need to have their own uh, 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 tribe, uh, to have their own lands. But that was it. That was under Aaron. That was 
it, that was uh, back then. But in the kingdom which is coming, the Levi will have their own land. Okay, the Levi are going to have their own land. Why? Because the kingdom that is coming, uh, we're not going to be a kingdom with priests, but we're going to be a kingdom of priests. Okay, so not only the Levi going to you know uh, 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 serve the Most High, but all the twelve tribe of Israel going to serve the Most High. Okay, now let's go to uh, let's go first. Um, let's go first. Um, let me see. So. Let's go first to um, let's go first to the book of Ezekiel chapter um, forty nine, because you know once again back then the Levi didn't have they didn't inherit land, but in the future they're going to inherit land because because Israel is going to be a kingdom of priests, not with priests but a kingdom of priests. Okay, let's go to the book of Ezekiel chapter forty eight, and I'm going to read first thirty through. 35 and these are the things going out of the city on the north side 4,500 me measure and the gates of the city shall be after the names of the tribe of Israel three gates northward one gate of Reuben and one gate of Judah one gate of Levi you see the Levi are going to have their own gate so they're going to have their own they're going to inherit their own land, okay? And and at the east side, 4,500 and three gates, and on the gate of Joseph, and, and one gate of Joseph, one gate of Benjamin, one gate of Dan. So in, in, in the future, uh, uh, the children of Joseph, they, the children of Joseph are going to inherit together with them, okay? The children of uh, the children of Joseph, they're not going to have their own uh, gate, but they're going to have, they're going to be a priest. They're going to become a priest, okay? But here, the the, the children of Joseph, they are going to inherit together with him, okay? And here you see Dan. Dan not going to be a priest, but of course they're going to have their own gates, okay? And at the south side, for 4,500 measure, and three gates, one gate of Simeon, one gate of Issachar, one gate of Sibylon. And at the west side, 4,500 with, with, with their three gates, one gate of Gad, one gate of Asher, one gate of Naphtali. It was round about 18,000 measure, and the name of the city from the day shall be the Lord is there the lord is there now let's go to the book of revelation the book of revelation chapter chapter 21 verse 10 through 14 okay okay um okay and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and show me that great city the holy jerusalem Descending out of heaven from God, having the glory. Okay, having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon which are the names of the twelve tribe of the children of Israel, on the east on the east three gates, on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates, and, and the wall of the city had twelve foundation, and in them the names of the twelve apost apost apostles, apostles of the land. So just like in, in the book of Ezekiel, okay, they're going to be a... Uh, they're going to be 12 gates, and with those names that I have read there, or the same one, I believe they are the, are the same one as um, in the book of Revelation chapter 21. So Levi are going to have their own gates in the future. They're going, to have their, they're going to inherit their own land in the future because we're going to become a kingdom of priests. Israel will become a kingdom of priests. And let's go um, about that kingdom of priests. Let's go to the book of Revelations. The book of Revelation, chapter 1. Okay? Um, chapter 1. 
chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of, of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of his prophecy, and keep those things which are written there therein, for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and was, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which, which are before his throne, and Jesus, sorry, and from and from Jesus Christ, who is faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that love us, and wash us from from our sins in his own blood, and had made us king and priest unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So you see, the most are going to make Israel become this kingdom of priests. He's going to make them become kings and priests, okay? We're not going to only have the tribe of Levi be a, be a being uh, the priest unto the Most High, but all the Israelites going to be a priest to the Most High. Those who are going to choose, they will become a priest to the Most High. Okay, now let's go to, um, let's go, let's go first, uh, let's go first to the book of um, Isaiah chapter 60. Okay, let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 60, 66. Uh, I'm going to read first 20. 20, um, 20, 20, 20 through 22, okay, or 23, okay, and they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations, upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, said the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an offering in in a, a in a clean vessel into the house into the house of the Lord. You see, these are the remnant of the righteous Israelite. You see, all those Israelite that will make it, or that the Most High will, uh, 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 all those Israelite that we're going to read them soon. All those Israelite in the book of Revelation chapter chapter seven. All those Israelite are righteous Israelite. Okay, those rebel Israelite are 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 are. are those uh, those wicked Israelites have been cut off, okay? They have been cut off. So all those groups that you see in there, those are only righteous ones, okay? And the same thing here. These are the righteous Israelites, okay? These are the righteous Israelites, okay? No no unclean ones, those, because those wicked ones, those rebel Israelites have been cut off. The most I have purged them out, okay? So all these are the righteous Israelites, okay? Those those who will go in covenant with them, those who have those who are those who those who have have grabbed holding the covenant of the Most High, okay? Those who those who are in covenant with the Most High, those who are those who are in those Israelites who are in training right now, those Israelites who believe in the Bible, okay? You have to do it right now, not not when Christ come, but right now you have to walk in the in the Most High Commandment. Right now you have to repent and come back and 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 starting to live as a righteous person. Okay, it is now the time to separate you from the other nation. It is at this time. It is now the time to separate you from all this Babylonian system and live a sub, a set apart life. Okay, according to the scriptures. Okay. And I will also take of them for priests and for Levite, said the Lord. Okay, he's going to take out of this Israelite the remnant to become priest of Levite. It's not, it's because what I do believe, you know, because some people believe that these are just Levite. No, he's going to take them, become priests of, I'm going to read it one more time, okay? And I will also take of them for priests and for Levite said the Lord, not 
it's, it, it doesn't mean that they're going to be they're going to be they're going to be only the tribe of Levi. But the thing is, what he's saying, what I do believe out of it is, he's going to take these Israelites and they're going to he's going to instruct them become, to become a priest. Okay, he sorry, he's going to take this Israelite and he's going to make priests from out of them, and they're going to do the, exactly the same work as the as he have instructed the the Levite to do back then. Okay, but we know all these sacrifices law are done away with because Christ was the because Christ was our sacrifice. He was our sacrifices. Okay, so this priest, this Israelite that he going to take uh, that he going to take to become priest, you know, and to do all those things that the Levite was doing. And according to scriptures, we know that the Levite they was just they was um. They was doing the, they was just doing, uh, how do you say it? Just like I have read in the book of Numbers, okay? They was doing the work of the Most High. And this thing going to still, it, it will still, it will, uh, it will continue in the kingdom. But they're not going to slaughter any animals and all those things, okay? Because all those things back then was pointing to Christ, okay? I hope that's, I hope it's, uh, it's, it's clear, okay? I try, okay? I'm going to read it one more time, and I will also take of them for priests and for Levites, says the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, said the Lord, so shall you, your seed and your name remain. The Israelites going to remain. We're not going nowhere. Doesn't matter if these other church, the, the Christianity, they're trying to replace us. But the children of Israel, they don't go nowhere, okay? They're going to stay the most high children forever and ever. And you cannot replace them. So it doesn't matter if you believe in that replacement uh, uh, teaching, but it will not come to pass. That's a lie according to the scriptures. Okay, now let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 7. I'm going to read verse 1 through 8, okay? And after this... Things after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ex ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt, to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I will hurt the number, sorry, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed on hundred, on hundred and forty and four thousand, and all the tribes of the children of Israel. These are the same seed back then that he said, I'm not going to you know get away from them i'm not going to get a, um, i will not get rid of them they're going to steal my children forever okay these are not spiritual israelite these are physical israelite who have served the most high in spirit and in truth these are the remnants okay those who are going to choose to become priests okay and uh, all of all the tribes of the children of israel of the tribe of Zib judah we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, we are sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar, will seal 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon, will seal 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph, will seal 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin, will seal 12,000. So you see, all these, all these 12 tribes, okay, they're going to be priests to the Most High. Not only the Levi, but now all these tribes that the Most High have chosen, going to be priests unto Him, okay? So in the future, uh, uh, all that uh, the kingdom with priests is, is done away with. It don't count. Now 
we are training the most high training the Israelites to become a kingdom with priest okay so when Christ come back from all these 12 tribes we're going to choose a remnant of Israelites who will become priests unto him okay and soon I will become later on the first nine and ten so Israelite I hope this one is clear okay so in the future Levi going to have his he going to inherit his own land okay he going to inherit his own land but in back then uh, the most I didn't give them land because they was they was the most I inheritance okay only them was only only them was appointed you know to do works you know uh for the most high but now the most high choose the most high going to choose or no from each tribes uh uh um israelite to become priests okay and these going to preach unto him i hope it's uh it's clear okay now let's go back to the book of joshua okay oh first first 14 one more time okay only unto the tribe of levi he give not inheritance the sacrifice of the Lord God of Israel made by fire or the inheritance as he said unto them. That was back then, but in the future it's going to be different. Now the Israelites, they are marching. The Most High is training them to, uh, you know, he is training them uh, for that day, okay? For 15, and Moses give unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. So, uh, put in your mind he's talking about families okay there are 12 tribes and all these 12 tribe Israelite they have their families okay so put that in your mind because we will go back soon in in the New Testament okay um, 16 and their coast was from error error that is on the bank of the river and um, and the city that is in the midst of the river and all the plain of Medeba, Heshbon, and all their cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Maimot, Baimot, Baal, and Bet, Bet Baal, Meon, and Jeh Jehaz, Jehaz, and Kedemot, and Me, Me, Meta, Me, 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 <laughs> and Kir Jataim. And Sibba, Sibma, and Zerat, Zerat, Shar, Shar, in the mount of the valley, and Bet Peor, and Ashdod, Pishga, and Bet She Shiga, Sh Bet She Imot, <laughs> Bet Jesh Imot, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon whom Moses smote with the princes, princes of Midian, Evi and Rechem, and Zur and Hur and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also the son of Beor, the, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. So go in the book of Numbers, I believe chapter 20, uh, you can start at chapter 20 and you're going to read about Balaam, okay? How the other nation, uh, 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 um, the, how the other nation hired him to curse the Israelite, okay? And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and, 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 and the village thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto Aror, Aror that is bef before Reba, and from Heshbon unto Ramoth, Mizpah, and Bet Betomnim, and from Mahaim unto the border of Debir, and in the valley Bet Betaram, <coughs> and Bet Nimra, and Sukkot, and Zapot, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Shinoret, 
on the other sides of Jordan eastward. Eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, their cities, and their village. Uh, okay. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Basham, all the kingdom of Och, king of Basham, and all the towns of Jair, <laughs> Jair or Jair, which are in Bashan, three score city, and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Ed Rai, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Mahir, Mashir, the son of Manasseh, even to the to the half to the one half of the children of Mashir by their family, by their families. Okay, now let's go to the book of Revelations, because there are 12 tribes, and just like we have read all these 12 tribes, all these 12, 12 tribes are divided by their own families, okay? They are divided by their own families. Now let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse Sorry, the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 9. After this, after this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man called number, of all nation. Why of all nation? Let's go um, quick. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go quick to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, because he said he has seen a mixed multitude. That came from all nation, okay? It came from which no man called number of all nation. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nation, whither the Lord thy God have driven thee. So Israel is all, uh, is is. Is, is among all the nations. We're going to come from all these nations. Okay. Now let's go back to uh, Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. Of all nations it said. Uh, and kindred. So when you go and, and type kindred. And it will tell you. It means families. Okay. These are kindred. And these kindred are Israelite. Just like we have read in, uh, in the book. In, in Joshua chapter 13. About how. The tribe of Gerai, the tribe of Manasseh, Reuben, and half uh, the the tribe of um, Gad, Reuben, and half tribe of Manasseh. How the Moses have divided the land, the land um, after their families. Okay, so kindreds mean families. These Israelites that come from among all these nations, they are divided if in families. Okay, we all are divided in different families. That's why it said. And kindreds are families. These are Israelites. And people and tongues. Why? Because all these Israelites that scatter among the nation, we, we, so we, we speaking the, the tongue of the nation that we are scattered. So we're speaking different languages. So that's why we all come among from all these tongues. That's why it said, and, and tongues. Okay, when we go back to the land, the Most High said he's going to make, uh, he going to make us speak all the same language again, just like once before. But now we all speaking the the tongues of that which uh, uh, land that the Moses have scattered, uh, scatter you. Okay, and and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So. That's all I'm going to read. These are the other Israelites who remain, who the most had didn't choose to become priests, okay? These are the, these are the other Israelites, okay? The, 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 the list above are the, the one that he chose to become king, to, be, to become a um, priest, okay? And these other ones are just the Israelites who have washed their, who have washed their clothes, uh, who, who, those who came in covenant, uh, with the Most High in the Great Tribulation, those who have who have endured till the end in the Great Tribulation, 
this other other Israelite, this other nation, they're going to be among us, but it's not about them, okay? It's not about them. The same thing like when we came out of Egypt, there was a mixed multitude, but you can go and read it for yourself. After they have came out of Egypt, those following chapter, you're going to see that the Most I have separated his people from among the nation, and he was only dealing with his people. And the same thing counting, okay? The same thing. It's going, it going to be as the same, okay? So these are Israelites who come from different, different uh, uh, countries, from different family, and speaking different tongue. Okay, now let's go back, okay? That's, that's what I wanted to say. Now let's go back, okay? And first, um, verse 32. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto, unto them. You see, back then only the tribe of Levi was an inheritance unto them. Only the tribe of Levi, the Most High, chose to do all these priests, uh, to be a priest unto him. But in the future, all those 12 tribes are going to be a priest unto the Most High. Those who the Most High are going to choose. Those who will become a priest to the Most High. And these Israelites, they are going to be a priest to Christ and, and, and the Father. Okay, they, they will priest unto him. Going to be a priest unto them. Okay, so that's why... The tribe of Levi, they're going to inherit their own land in the future. Okay? In the future, they're going to inherit their own land according to the book of Ezekiel, chapter, uh, according to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 48. Okay? Now, Israelite, uh, this was the lesson of today, and I hope you got understanding. Shalom.